What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to a video that I have been meaning to make for quite some time now that I have gained some more experience behind the wheel of the Red Beast, the Rentec R1 package in England. I wanted to make a video talking about one, how Rentec were able to create such a beast, but two, just my driving experiences that I've had with the car since being back driving it into London, out of London, in the countryside and hopefully give you guys a well rounded overall video experience of what this car is like to drive and what this car is like to live with. So I'm going to shove a few GoPros around so you get to hear the car in all sorts of different forms. I've also heard from many people that the car has got a completely different sound from the front of the car to the rear of the car. So I'm going to have to put some GoPros on the front so you can hear that V8 by turbo whir um, as well as hearing the exhaust crackles from behind. So let's jump in and let's go for a bit of a drive. We're going to stick to country roads and sort of suburb urban territory. We're not going to go into central London in this video because later on today I am going to London which I'm filming two separate videos on as well. Well let's suction you up. to the panoramic roof that I have above me and let's go for a drive with the music off. So the main aim of this video is I've done a review of the AMG GTS when I picked it out from Southern Sky and I was banging on about what it is just the perfect car in every single way and it's very difficult to criticize such a good car and I'm pretty sure that there have been some media journalists that have been able to criticize the car some people don't like the light steering when it's in comfort mode the steering is incredibly light but obviously once you get used to it like I've been able to do so luckily been able to do so the journalistic reviews of this car and I suppose any car because they aren't owning them or spending enough time with them they are picking immediate flaws that they find in the cars that they're driving which is fine but anyone that wants to I suppose know the ownership review of the car in the, the grand scheme of things everyone gets used to their car so when they jump in another car it's just a little bit alien to them and this going from the Lamborghini is as alien as you can get. Low visibility, heavy steering, clunky gearbox, and crazy amount of immediate naturally aspirated V10 power. Coming into this car, very comfortable, very easy to drive, light steering, incredible gearbox, and the turbo power obviously doesn't have that same immediate punch that the Lamborghini does. However, that was one of the criticisms that I had, I suppose, with this car is that it's not as aggressive looking as I would have liked. Bring on the AMG GTR, I think it looks quite good. I wouldn't say it looks amazing, but it looked quite good. The sound, obviously, the AMG GTS had a phenomenal soundtrack from the V8 by Turbo, but it could have been better. Bring on Rentec. And the one thing that I picked up on off camera as I was driving uphill towards Seb Delaney's house when I took this car down to Monaco in April for top marks, I had Mr. JWW in the passenger seat and we both thought that after third gear, halfway through third gear, the power sort of started to run out and this car is packed with 503 brake horsepower as standard as a lot of you people know. However, the geniuses and magicians at Rentec were able to squeeze 122 brake horsepower with the mid-pipe 200 cell sports cat upgrade, ECU tune, air filters and their new blower valves. Now 122 brake horsepower is a lot to squeeze out of a car. And 
and there have been a lot of questions asking how Rentec were able to do this and I don't want to give away all of their secrets because they are true magicians with the AMG brand. However, the one thing that they were telling me, Lucas uh, specifically, was telling me that all of the AMG GTS stock ECU tunes go up to 550 brake horsepower. So as standard, AMG GTSs are detuned to the level of 503 brake horsepower. Now, I don't particularly know the reason why. I assume it's something to do with all of the components in the car work better at a 503 brake horsepower, but each car from factory, preferably the newer ones, are capable of 550 brake horsepower if you just are able to get into the ECU tune. <laughs> and because this is a 2016 car, it's very easy to squeeze that power out. <laughs> then, once they added the 200 cell sports cats downpipe, that connect to the engine and then connect to the rest of the exhaust system out the back. They also deleted the secondary cat, basically means that everything's a lot more free flowing. It's still legal, this will still pass an MOT if it needs one, but it doesn't because it's less than three years old. So it's still completely legal, unlike the Lamborghini, which was decatted, but psh. So this car is now able to produce, as seen on the dyno and the Rentec readings, 625 brake horsepower as well as 815 newton meters of torque. Let's get on to talking about the power delivery, whether you really feel the difference in 625 brake horsepower going up from 503, the first obvious answer is yes, you do. But I didn't find out straight away. So the first videos that I made with the Rentec exhaust system and the ECU tune in Germany, the sense of speed was never really there because the closest object that you had to gauge a sense of speed was a tree miles away in the field. You would have seen that there wasn't a lot going on around the Nürburgring. And putting your foot down in that sort of environment Yes, you get the kickback and yes, you can really feel how much the car is pulling you, but there's no sense of speed. Whereas in England and in London and here, you've got trees, walls, buildings right there. So obviously I've got to be careful when I put my foot down, but the sense of speed is times a million. So when I do put my foot down, I feel like I'm going a million times faster, which is just crazy. picks up from zero revs, the torque delivery is right there, the power is right there. Even though this is a turbocharged car, it really doesn't feel like it and it just lifts you back and wow, you just take off and the power is just there. That properly scared me, you might have seen from my face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big crack. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and it 
just has a fantastic soundtrack. sweating I think it is safe to say that any slight tweaks that this car needed Rentec have been able to iron them out and I'm not just talking about the ECG and I'm not just talking about the power delivery I'm talking about their aerodynamic body kit as well because that is a sight to behold when I first saw that body kit I was like oh my god this thing is an absolute it's just a beast. There's no other word to describe it. The long nose, the wide stance that this car has, and all of the curves in the right places. Add the Rentec Aerodynamic Body Kit and Fixed Wing, which is actually called like the DTM style wing. And it is exactly, exactly what I wanted when I bought this car. And I said to everyone on the collection video that this it's truly a blank canvas. The reason that I haven't put a fixed wing on at the moment, the reason that I haven't done anything, is that I am holding out for the Rentec Aerodynamic Body Kit and DTM Spoiler. They are so confident in what they do, and have I previously said, they are by far the market leaders in aftermarket tuning on the AMG GTS. That, I, that is exactly what I want. They make the car look just as cool as it is to drive. Even though it looks amazing now, Dub Customs have done an incredible job creating this car, making it look a little bit more like a race car. With the body kit, it is going to be a new animal. It is gonna be a new beast. It is not gonna be the red beast anymore. I am gonna be re-wrapping it. If you've got any ideas or suggestions, please put a comment in the comment box below. I'm gonna be checking them all out. Me, myself, Rentec and Dub Customs, we are going to be coming up with a new wrap, something unique, something fun. So if you've got any suggestions on colours or designs, leave a comment in the comment box below. I've had so much fun filming this video, talking to you about what the Rentec upgrades have actually been able to do to the car and what a fantastic experience it is now to drive. Even though it was already a fantastic experience back then with 503 brake horsepower. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. As always, your support is truly, truly appreciated. I'm always overwhelmed by the amount of response that you guys put in the comments, in the likes, in the views. Ruining my sign off. That's it for today's videos. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button if you've enjoyed this video or if you're a fan of Rentec or AMG or combined, give it a double like. No, you can't because then it unlikes the video. Anyway, just like, <laughs> anyway, like the video and I will see you very soon for some more action. <laughs>